Hey guys, Mega Man NG here, and you know what that time is. Yep, it's time now for our weekly TMNT quick episode review. This week is one that a lot of us are really hyped for. Very hyped. Even me. I am so hyped for this episode that when I saw it, and it was just amazing. So, let's get this started. I'll provide a short synopsis as well as my th overall thoughts. The plot has the 2012 Turtles tracking through space to find the final piece of the black hole generator. Unfortunately, that gets sidetracked when something drags them to another dimension, and they end up encountering their 1980s counterparts. Together, the two teams must work together to save all of reality from the likes of Krang, who surprisingly is coming up with this plan of destroying all of reality. It's similar to the plot with Turtles Forever, but this does it so much better and here's why unlike turtles forever which was just like a finale movie this episode for 22 minutes it gave us a lot for starters we have the original 1987 voice actors from the tmnt cartoon the original 80s voice actors in the 2012 barry gordon pat fraley who is so awesome as Krang, cam clark Townsend Coleman and Rob Paulson. There are a lot of jabs with Rob Paulson because there was like this one scene where the 1987 Raph Hastley pokes like goes against 2012 Donnie. It's surprisingly since they are both voiced by the same person. The plot is pretty good and seeing two both Krangs working together is something. Not to mention the jump in animation. Like the two thousand like switching between 2D and CG, they do it such they do it so well. I loved it. I love seeing the 2012 Turtles in the 80s style and the 80s Turtles in the CG style in the 2012. It was done so perfectly, especially when they did Krang. Krang in the, the CG was just magnificent and it felt so accurate and so good at the same time. The action was pretty nice. The humor was off the wall with references to the 80s cartoon, the old turtle power thing, which gets Leonardo annoyed, but eventually he goes through it. And the fighting, like I said, it was just great. You had great action, great humor, great characterization. All the voice actors reprised their roles here. And it's all around fun. Having Pat Fraley back was just the icing on the cake. But you want to know what's even more icing? Seeing the Turtle Prime, the original 84 Turtles, the Turtles from the Mirage comics. Sadly, they don't have any speaking lines. But the way how it's presented with just moving panels, like it was a comic book. And interestingly enough, both Donnies appear in their respective animation styles. And the 80s counterparts, wow, the original ones. That was just something. And it was just scary at the same time. But you guys know that the original TMNT, way back in the comic days, they were very violent. Very violent. Sadly, they didn't get any lines, but I wish they did. Like they did with Turtles Forever. But for what we got, it's just magnificent. It's just so awesome. And the humor is just off the wall. So how do I rate this? Pretty simple. I give this episode a 9 out of 10. It has great action. You brought the 80s voice actors. Oh, wait. I forgot to mention there was also one other nitpick. And I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing, but there was no Shredder. Neither 2012 or the 87. I already know that the voice actor for Shredder, James Avery, passed away about a year ago. God rest his soul. But if he was still around reprising his role in this episode, it would have been sweet. It would have been like the icing on the cake. It would have been perfect. But like I said, we got what we got, and it's awesome. Not to mention, I feel that for some reason it ties continuity between the two cranks. And I wonder if the 80s and the 2012 one are somehow connected. I don't really know to be sure. But what I do know is that, yeah, the episode is awesome. And a great way to celebrate the franchise that has lasted almost 30 years. About probably... In 2017, the Turtles are going to be celebrating the 30th anniversary of the 80s cartoon. But the franchise has been around for a long time. And for this episode, it just, it was perfect. I really mean it. It's perfect. Therefore, I'm giving this a 9 out of 10. I could give it a 10, but I think a 9 is pretty good. I, could, I didn't find anything wrong with it. It's just that it was a very enjoyable episode. You had great action. All the voice actors reprising their roles. The humor between the Turtles as well as the Krangs are just spot on. The comedy was great and the references to the 80s cartoon were pretty good. I liked it. Liked it a lot. And honestly, I recommend you watch it. The link in the description will let you watch the episode so that way you won't miss out on it. 
Anyway, that's it for my quick episode review of this week's episode, Transdimensional Turtles. Next week, we're going to be moving to Revenge of the Triceratons. And yeah, I'm already looking at the wiki and we got four more episodes coming, so look forward to those. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. Please make sure you also share the video around. And if you saw the episode, tell me what you think in the comments. All right, this is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out, guys.